We're getting now to our weather story here, which is certainly our top story this morning. Check this out. This video showing the moment a possible tornado took shape in Perry Crossing near Sellersburg, Indiana. The storm hit the area around 930 last night. We know that people there are definitely seeing the impacts from that this morning. So Jim Stratman and photojournalist Paul Landers are out there right now. And Jim, uh, we've seen some very dramatic uh, and surprising mm -hmm. video uh, from these storms. And you have some of those videos. Yeah, that's right, Grace and Eric. That video that we've seen coming out of this area, very, very shocking. Something that you really can't even look away from as you see those storms start to form into some of those tornadoes. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at some of that video right now. This video that we're showing you is actually from Dane Cork. He sent that to us. Around 9.30 last night, you can see some of those storms starting to form. We got a number of videos and pictures that were similar to this sent to us overnight, including one from Cody Monk, who actually was able to hop on the phone with us after to kind of explain what was going on in the area. It was moving really, really quick. And all of a sudden, about 10 seconds later, it really starts to form just I mean, just like that. And just within 10 seconds, it started forming really, really quick. And you could see the spin, and I could tell it was 100% heading away from me. So I knew at that point I was you know, relatively safe because you could clearly see that it was heading away. But it only takes just a few seconds for that thing to form. Now what you're looking at in this other video is look at some of the damage from right in this neighborhood last night. Our own Reed Yate and John Humphreys were out here taking a look and talking to people. You can see the community really got to work as soon as the storm moved through, doing repairs to several homes and roofs that have been damaged by the storm. Now because it is dark outside, we haven't really been able to see a lot of that damage for ourselves. We know that there are some tarps on houses a little bit further down the street behind me, but as the sun comes up, we're going to be able to see a little bit more of that. People are again going to be out here trying to start making some of those repairs. Grace, Eric. All right, Jim, thanks so very much. As we've heard Ben say, we are expecting more severe weather as we move through the day, and that does come with the possibility of tornadoes. That's why it's important to have that WHAS 11 news app on hand. It's free to download. You can watch our live coverage even if you lose power. We'll also send you alerts for severe storm warnings straight to your phone as those warnings are issued.